All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is DB Talking Now, DB Talking Birds, DB Talking the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, it is 4.02 Mountain Standard Time. We have a couple hours to go before the Philadelphia Eagles face off against the Seattle Seahawks on Monday Night Football on in Philadelphia Lincoln Financial Field. Now, what do we have to look forward to? Well, what do we have to look forward to? Me as an Eagles fan, I must say, probably more of the same. Um, offensive disaster. <laughs> let me just go ahead and say. Let me just go ahead and say this. Um, Jalen Hurts gets increased snaps throughout the week. Gets gets snaps with the ones. It's it's absolutely clear that Doug does not want Carson Wentz as his starting quarterback anymore. Or maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. Or maybe he just sees possibly benching Carson Wentz to save his job as the best option moving forward. But he can't. He can't. Of course he can't. You want to know why he can't? Because Doug Peterson does not have final say on benching the quarterback, on personnel decisions regarding the starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. Who does? Who does? Probably probably Jeffrey Lurie, I would, I would think. There's plenty of reports saying that Carson Wentz is tight with Jeffrey Lurie. Um, and if that's the case, then then what are you going to do, Doug? What are you going to do, Doug? I certainly don't have an answer for you. Certainly do not have an answer for you. Well, I'll tell you what you're going to do, Doug. It seems like, and this is a theory, asterisk, 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 that you will go ahead and go underneath Jeffrey Lurie's nose and try and start to try and start to you know inch Jalen Hurts in there a little bit more so that so that uh Jeffrey Lurie might get a little inkling of oh maybe Jalen Hurts is a good idea moving forward let me just say this nothing against Jalen Hurts absolutely nothing 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 at all against Jalen Hurts you know what I'm actually quite excited to see what Jalen Hurts does bring to the table um it's quite interesting I'll tell you why it's quite interesting because his role and his snaps are going to significantly increase this evening against the Seattle Seahawks. And yes, that does make the offense a little bit more unpredictable. Seattle Seahawks defense, well, they are 32nd in, pa in pass defense. Um, they, have, they have looked pretty bad over the last few weeks. But let me tell you this, I don't take those things to in, into account when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles offense. You want to know why? It's because we have never been able to take advantage of matchups like that this season. And I don't want to put any pennies or quarters or nickels or dimes or whatever whatever type of currency you want to think you want to come up with um i don't want to throw that throw that at that garbage so um let's just move forward with jalen hurts with jalen hurts jalen hurts jalen hurts he was the starting quarterback for for the alabama crimson tide um led the team to the national championship game where they had Tua as as the backup, Yun 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 Tua, Tua Tua Tua, and Jalen Hurts is probably having the worst half of football in that national championship game that he's ever had. And so what do they do? They bench Jalen Hurts, and they bring in Tua. Tua takes over, brings the brings the brings the Crimson Tide back from from a deficit to win that national championship game. And then what does Jalen Hurts do? In response, he transfers to Oklahoma, where he becomes the second runner-up for the Heisman Trophy when he plays for Lincoln Riley. It's interesting about Lincoln Riley that I mentioned Lincoln Riley. I'm not going to get into Lincoln Riley right now. We'll get into that a little bit later, maybe further down the week, maybe in a couple days from now, maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight after the game, once we lose the, to the Seattle Seahawks. Because let me tell you, let me tell you this, I'm a diehard Philadelphia Eagles fan. I was born in Philadelphia. Uh, I have Eagles, Eagles blood running through my veins through and through. But I will tell you this right now, there is no shot in hell that we are winning tonight. Despite what might, despite what type of spark Jalen Hurts might throw in there. There's no way. There's no way in hell we've never beaten. We've never beaten Russell Wilson in the Russell Wilson era. Um, or sorry, I'll say that again. We've never beaten the Seattle Seahawks in the Russell Wilson era. Um, and I don't see that. I don't see that changing this evening. 
But let's go ahead and stick with Jalen Hurts. I want to talk about Jalen Hurts. I am interested and excited. Um, I'm a full 100% um, Carson Wentz supporter. I do believe he still has the ability to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Um, obviously, he's having a terrible season. Um, probably having the worst season that he's ever had. Um, and there's there's no there's no ifs, ends, or buts about it. He's struggling. Uh, he looks confused, lost. Um, confidence is is at the very bare minimum, um, if even there. It's fi- I feel like it's dropped off the f- frickin' scale. Um, you know, but but let's go ahead and. But with the, with with that said, you know, I still I still fully believe in Carson. He I I, I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be fine, wherever he goes. Um, but with Jalen Hurts, I will say this: if Jalen Hurts plays well tonight, this game will be the one of few, one of the few of last games that Carson Wentz starts at quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. You heard it here. It will be one of the very last few games that Carson Wentz starts at quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles if Jalen Hurts plays well. Now, with that said, what do we want to see from Jalen Hurts? As a Philadelphia Eagles fan, let's just stop playing the comparisons. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be bad if we start Jalen Hurts. No, we got to fight for Carson. No, no, there's no point. There's no point in making that argument anymore. There's no point in making that argument anymore because, because the people who are full, who are full fledged wanting to bench Carson Wentz are going to stick to their guns, you know, and, and, uh, and there's no use, there's no use convincing them anymore. Um, so now, now that we've, now that we've got proof of, of an increased game plan for Jalen Hurts. Um, we have to look at what we want to see from Jalen Hurts going into tonight's game because because that's that's the best that's the best thing for us to do as Philadelphia Eagles fans. So what do we want to see from him? What do we want to see from him? What do we want to see from Jalen Hurts, our rookie second round pick quarterback out of Oklahoma, the dual threat? What do we want to see? Well, I want to see him get the ball out quickly. I want to see him be able to read and react to a defense. Um, I want to see him be able to make, you know, the right offensive line alignment changes. Um, I want to see him take command of the huddle and and um, march our guys down with, with great fervor. No, no, I only want to see a few things from Jalen Hurts. Um, I want to see him... I want to see him take command. Um, that is that is first and foremost. Um, I do want to see him. Want to, I do want to see him read and react, and I want to see him put the ball in a spot where the receiver can get it. Um, I don't want to see any overthrown passes from him. Obviously, I'm going to allow him to have a little bit, a few mistakes. Um, but for him to impress me, I want him to get the ball out quickly. I want him to get the ball out accurately. And I want him to take command of the huddle. Now, Jalen Hurts has never been one not to take command of a huddle or locker room um, during his professional career. Whether it's college, high school, NFL, who knows? Who knows? Who knows how the guys react to, to Jalen Hurts? He's never been one to not take command of a huddle or a locker room. Um, so that is not something that we need to worry about. But you know, so that's what I want to see from him. I and and uh, and I'll leave it there. I mean, I think I think I wanna, I think I wanna see him impress. I I'm excited. I'm excited, despite being a, despite being a big Carson supporter and still think that Carson can can do great things in this league. Um, I still am excited to see Jalen Hurts. Now, we have a few callers that we want to go ahead and get into, so let's go ahead and get to a couple callers. All right, caller number one, you are on the air. I don't know what we what they should do. They shouldn't even think about even starting Carson Wentz anymore. They should have benched him five weeks ago. It's absolutely horrible what he's doing. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He just needs to 
Just sit on the bench, third string. Nate Sudfeld would be a better, better option at this point. Oh my god! Of course Jalen Hurst should be the answer. Alright, well, um, I couldn't even really tell if that was a man or a woman or an old lady, an old man. No, kidding aside, um, I understand the frustration and I understand you wanting to bench Carson week five weeks ago. Here's the thing, um, starting quarterbacks, they struggle. Quarterbacks in this league struggle, you know. Um, they abs they really, really do. Um, you know, not every quarterback is gonna is gonna be perfect all the time. Um, you know, we saw, you know, Peyton Manning throw six what was it, sixteen interceptions in his in his rookie year. I mean, I'm not saying Carson Wentz is Peyton Manning. Of course he's not Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning is one of the best of all time. But, you know, quarterbacks go through through some downs and, and down and outs and and I want to say five weeks ago I mean five weeks ago we were can you remember who we were who we were playing um, I don't have that in front of me right now but but if the defense played a little bit better we probably could have beaten the the Pittsburgh Steelers and we probably could have beaten the Baltimore Ravens so Carson brought us back in those games enough said enough said uh, let's go ahead and get to caller number two. Hey, DB talking now. Um, great. Thanks for having me on the show, man. Um, you know, I still believe in Carson too. I just, I just feel like he's not, he's not going to be able to succeed in Philadelphia anymore because there's just so much other stuff going on and, and we don't. We're not giving him what he needs to succeed. You know, why not throw a check down to Miles Sanders? Why not get Miles Sanders more involved in the passing game? Why not do things? Why not roll him out of the pocket more? We rolled him out two times against the Browns. Twice. Two designed rollouts against the Browns. He's fairly more accurate when he's rolling out of the pocket. And nobody wants to do anything about it. Doug doesn't want to do anything about it. And what are they doing? What is he doing? He just sounds so stupid in front of the Philadelphia media. He's not making any sense. I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm liking what you're saying about Jalen Hurts. I'm excited to see him too. I want to see what he can do. I have nothing against Jalen Hurts. But I love Carson, man. I still love him. I still think he can, he can do it. I, I I want to see him work through these struggles, man, and get through all and get through the get through these struggles and this adversity. I think it's only going to make him a stronger quarterback, and and we'll be able to we'll be able to go from here. And 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 you know they're stuck with him. All right. Well, that's I mean yeah, and I completely and I and I and I and I and, I, and that sounded and that and that sounded like a caller who who definitely who definitely had some some mature reflection on on the season absolutely for sure um so that was that was definitely nice to hear yeah absolutely carson wentz carson wentz is struggling he's having the worst season he's he's ever had um it's never been this bad you know he's sacked he's been sacked 40 times and you know he's thrown 14 interceptions and 14 touchdowns and 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 um he's fumbling the ball a ton you know what do we, I mean? Yeah, completely. I, I I think I think he should be able to. I think he should be able to to work through it. Um, I, I I my my opinion of this is is I just want to see Carson come out have a clean great game. I know that Carson is is capable of having a great game. I know that he's. I know that it's there. Um, he just has to get his confidence going, going quickly and and. Um, and keep it sustained and we can and we'll be able to and, and and hopefully hopefully he would be able to to build off of that um i will tell you this if there's any shot in hell uh to beat the seattle seahawks tonight um and if carson wentz plays well you know forget jalen hurts for a second if carson wentz plays well and we and we beat the seahawks tonight 
um, man, that would that would really throw a wrench in things. It would really throw a wrench in things, and I would love to see what the national media would have to say about that Tuesday morning. So, well, with that said, uh, this is DB talking now, DB talking birds, DB talking Philadelphia Eagles. That is all that we have time for right now. Um, we are getting to that point in time where we are going to have to start preparing for the game, so I will go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for joining in with me, and you guys have, bl- have a blessed evening. I am Dylan Brown. I am your host. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Go birds, baby. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is DB talking now. DB talking birds. DB talking.